Welcome to Chapter 3 of our enchanting tale. In this chapter, we find ourselves in a theater that pulses with an energy that feels almost alive. The bioluminescent plants cast a soft, ethereal glow, dancing across the walls like flickering memories of a forgotten dream. At the center of the stage stands a small boy, Max, his heart pounding in rhythm with the distant echoes of the past. The air is thick with tension, a palpable force wrapping around him like a shroud. As the townsfolk gather, their faces a tapestry of hope and fear, Max feels the weight of their expectations pressing down on his small shoulders. Watching from the shadows is a wise old sea turtle, Tully, his weathered shell glistening under the shimmering light. Tully's eyes, deep and knowing, convey a silent encouragement, urging Max to embrace the courage that lies dormant within him. Join us as we delve into this chapter, where courage and understanding will be tested in the heart of Coral Cove. The ghostly spirit of a puppet, Marina, floats beside Max, her translucent form shimmering like the surface of the ocean at dawn. You must confront them, Max, she urges her voice a gentle caress against the chaos swirling in his mind. The puppets are not merely strings and wood. They are the echoes of dreams and fears, bound by choices of the past. With a deep breath, Max steps forward, the wooden stage creaking beneath his feet as if awakening from a long slumber. The puppets, once mere marionettes, now loom before him, their eyes glinting with a strange, sentient light. They move with a grace that belies their sinister nature, their strings taut and trembling, reflecting the turmoil that has gripped the town. What do you want from us? Max calls out, his voice steady despite the tremor in his heart. The puppets pause, their movements stilled as if considering his words. In that moment, Max understands that the confrontation is not just with the puppets but with the very essence of fear that has taken root in Coral Cove. As the puppets begin to lash out, their movements erratic and wild, Max feels the darkness of Elias's pact swirling around him, threatening to engulf him. But he remembers Tully's teachings, the lessons of courage and understanding. He reaches deep within, embracing the memories of his father, the love that had once filled their home, and the dreams that had been lost to the depths of the sea. I will not let you control us any longer. Max shouts, his voice rising above the chaos. The words hang in the air, a declaration that resonates with the townsfolk who watch in awe. The puppets hesitate, their strings quivering as if caught in a tempest of their own making. In that moment of stillness, Max sees the flicker of hope in the eyes of the puppets, a glimmer of the dreams they once embodied. He steps closer, extending his hand towards them, a bridge between the past and the present. Let us heal together. Let us remember who we are. As the words leave his lips, a wave of warmth washes over the theater, the shadows receding as the light of understanding illuminates the space. The townsfolk erupt in cheers, their voices rising in a chorus of hope and redemption. Max stands at the center of it all, a beacon of bravery, having faced not only the puppets but the fears that had haunted him since his father's disappearance. The theater, once a relic of despair, now pulses with the vibrant energy of a community reborn, ready to embrace the true spirit of Christmas and the promise of a brighter future. The transformation is complete. The puppets, once bound by darkness, begin to transform, their features softening, the malevolence fading like mist under the morning sun. The pact that had held them captive for so long begins to unravel, threads of darkness giving way to strands of light. Join us next time as we continue to explore the magical world of Coral Cove and the adventures that await. Thank you for listening to Storyteller.